People always think you're a swan, you're like this, you know, you just are moving your arms up and down like flapping of wings, but it's really a wing is like, it's sort of like a pterodactyl almost. I mean, you know, it has this kind of the elbow, it starts with the elbow and the hands can be almost splayed a little bit like the edges of the feathers. They don't just go up and down, they have to have more of a circular movement to them. So. We like to think that, um, and we work on trying to bring the movement from the center, from the back, and taking it outwards through the elbows, through the fingertips, so that your arms actually turn into the wings of a swan. They come from your back, first of all, and it's, it's a lot more exaggerated than the arms you would do in class. So you really have to like bend your back, like stick out your chest. So it goes up, and then as it comes down, it doesn't do this, it comes down through the back. The back is what lowers the arms, so that the elbows never do that. And you don't actually flap, Cynthia says. You, you lift your elbow, and then you use like all your muscles here to bring your arm down, like you don't, you know, <laughs> just flap around like a bird. It's a workout, I mean, you stand like, and just do this for five minutes, and your triceps are gonna be dying. <laughs> it's almost like your arms get really sore after. The swan has such huge wings, and so everything has to be out, way out exaggerated. Sort of different than most people would think. 